as I said, busy, busy Friday morning here on Morning Live. It's almost like a Black Friday, like one interview, another, you know, it's just interviews all over the show. Well, this is a nice one. So this year, one of South Africa's foremost institutions of higher learning, Rhodes University's journalism department, marks 50 years of existence. Now, the university, known for its academic excellence and its commitment to the advancement of the public good, is celebrating this milestone with a year-long celebration of events, which includes honoring 50 of its most distinguished alumni at various locations across the country. Professor Sizwe Mabizela is the Vice Chancellor at Rhodes University, and he's sitting across from me here in studio. Thanks so much for coming through, and congratulations for First and foremost, Prof. Thank you very much, Sakina. It's really a, a significant milestone for our university. It's something that we are really proud of. What does it mean for the institution? Sakina, let me start by acknowledging that today is the start of activism against violence, I mean, on violence against women and children. Uh, and really make a call to our nation that we need to confront this pernicious gauge of sexual and gender-based violence in our society. And let us eradicate it. I look forward to the day when we won't have to have such activisms. Coming back to the celebration, um, you know, it has been 50 years. What started as a single class with 17 students in 1970 quickly grew into a fully-fledged academic department in 1972. And uh, here we are. We are now celebrating the 50th anniversary. Uh, we have a fabulous School of Journalism and Media Studies with its own building. More than 500 students are registered in that uh, school now. So it has been quite a journey. And we are really, really proud of that. So as you indicated, we are honoring 50 uh, of our alumni, outstanding alumni, who have made an immense contribution to this country and beyond. Uh, so we had a gala dinner last night. Uh, I think what I really want to highlight is that we are celebrating them as our alumni, but we are celebrating all alumni and we are celebrating all media practitioners in South Africa and across the globe for the incredible work that they are doing. And we thank you, you know, from Morning Live, myself, Leanne Vusiwe, we all received your invitation as well, and we appreciate uh, that from uh, that gesture from the university. We really do. So uh, just speaking of those 50 distinguished alumni from uh, Rhodes University, so just give us a few names, you know, who are some of those that you have honored? Oh, of course, uh, you, you know, uh, the gentleman who hosts the uh, morning uh, session in SAFM, uh, uh, Mr. Hrutis, um and Karen Morn, an outstanding journalist, perhaps the, the best journalist in uh, legal uh, matters. Uh, and so there are many, many others, uh, uh, Sakina. And uh, we are really, really proud of them. Uh, absolutely. And I've worked with a few of them, you know, over the course of a more than two decades career. And it's inevitable uh, that you would come across, uh, what do you call them? Rodents. They, they are rodents. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So, no. yeah, uh, we've rubbed shoulders with them. Yes. And, um, you know, for a long time, uh, this was almost uh, exclusively the domain when it comes to journalism yes. of Rhodes University. Yes. If you wanted to specifically branch out and do certain things, you had yes. to go to Rhodes University. Yes. So, yes. so how has it been now that other universities have also started playing in that space? What has it meant for the journalism department at Rhodes University? Of course, it means there's greater uh, competition. Uh, and there has been an incredible growth in journalism. And with, of course, the arrival of social media, there are huge challenges. But, you know, this 50th anniversary gives us an opportunity to reflect on the achievements of the past 50 years, but also to reposition us 
on how we may build on these achievements and prepare for the future. I must mention Deirdre Yuran, who is of course uh, one of the most important people in uh, SABC. She was being celebrated uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, and um, I'm, I'm really uh, just sorry that uh, we couldn't make it, but I was explaining to Prof off air how it is that, you know, we are very antisocial, really, for the most part during the week because of the early rise. But yeah, uh, uh, next time, we hope that we will be able to make it. But of course, just looking at, um, you know, the journalism department at your institution, its achievements over the years, the wonderful um, alumni that you have produced what does that mean for you personally as the vice chancellor you know in terms of moving the institution forward Sakina this is really important for me as the vice chancellor and for the institution to look back and say this is the contribution that we have made we are celebrating 50 years we are celebrating the profession of journalism we are celebrating all journalists. We are also honoring the memory of many journalists and media practitioners who lost their lives um, uh, in the course of duty. Uh, and we salute them. Uh, and so we take this as an opportunity to reimagine what journalism should look like in the future, given all the challenges that we face. Uh, but I think we have something great to build on uh, you know, it was uh, an American uh, journalist, uh, Mr. Bill Moyers, who said that the quality of journalism and the quality of democracy are entwined. And that is so important because many of you are working under difficult circumstances, facing real violence, threat of violence, threat of arrest, and even th threat of death. Uh, and so I really salute the Fourth Estate and thank them for the incredible role they are playing in this country. Without that, we wouldn't be where we are. We wouldn't have known about some of the horrendous things that were, uh, came up in the Zondo Commission. So in order to consolidate our democracy, we must honor and we must respect the Fourth Estate. And we must protect you as a society. And we must give you space to do your work. I wish for we, me is important. I wish we had more time, but you know, I have to wrap this up, but I have to ask you about um, the institution and the municipality in which you find yourself in, because that has been quite topical and I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't delve into that yes. somewhat. Uh, so um, Grahamstown, uh, Makanda is where the institution no. is at. And we know that uh, the institution of higher learning is not an island. Yeah. You are in a municipality that really at one point was uh, known for all the right reasons yes. and now possibly for many more wrong reasons. Uh, there's dire need in that municipality uh, on many levels. Yeah. But, you know, what sort of partnerships have you struck up with that municipality to address this? Because I would imagine that that would have an impact on your ability to actually lure students to your institution as well. Indeed, there are huge challenges, like in a small uh, town there are challenges, but there are particular challenges in Makanda relating to service delivery, issues of water uh, and the like. But we have chosen to be part of the solution. We, did, we don't want to stand on the rooftops and complain. You know, there's a beautiful um, Chinese adage which says it's better to light a candle than to cast darkness. Much as we complain about what is happening, we are getting our hands dirty. We have uh, uh, created a structure to work with all the role players in town to make our city livable, habitable, uh, and, and, and a place that we can be proud of. But more important, we are heavily involved in education. And we do want to make Makanda a center of educational excellence from early childhood right across to, to university. And so we are working with schools, particularly in the township, to improve the quality of learning and teaching. You know what? A few years ago, only a handful of young people could come to Rhodes University. But now, we get the majority of our young people coming to Rhodes University through the initiatives 
that we have started uh, in our school uh, program. And we're also creating a bridge uh, for some young people who did not do well in metric. Uh, and they are taking a course at university to stretch and stimulate them. And by the time they come to university, they have a course or two under their belt. We will get that city working and it will be a center of educational excellence. Uh, wait and see. And that revolution we hope to televise. So please give us a brace of those developments and let us know. We'll gladly come and pop in to see how things are moving. But congratulations once more, uh, Prof uh, Mabizela, uh, to you and of course the entire institution and your alumni, the ones that you are honouring. Uh, Professor Sizwe Mabizela is the Vice-Chancellor at Rhodes University.